reaction is your sense of pain. Specialized nerves called nociceptors cover your skin and organs, reacting to harmful chemical, mechanical, and thermal stimuli. Some nociceptors react to all kinds of damage, while some only react to specific pain, like burning. Jolts of sudden pain are communicated by thin, quick nociceptors called A-type fibers, which travel to the spinal cord, initiating a reflexive motor response. The dull, aching pain that follows is communicated by thick, slow nociceptors called C-type fibers. Both types of fibers send pain signals up the spinal cord to the brainstem, which responds by waking you up, increasing your heart rate and alertness to danger. The pain signal also travels through the thalamus to the somatosensory cortex, which determines where on the body the pain is occurring. The signal then travels to the cognitive and emotional centers of the brain, making you perceive pain as a bad thing. These centers can trigger the periaqueductal gray, which releases opioids that enter the spine and block pain signals. Your body has other ways to reduce pain. If pain signals and touch signals reach the spinal cord at the same time, the touch signals block some of the pain signals from making it up the spinal cord, diminishing the pain. This is why you rub your arm when you get punched. <laughs>